Good. I do want to stick with Jazz Pelicans, though, guys, because Zion Williamson did start last night but was on that strict minutes limit, just 15 minutes. He left as the Pelicans held a four-point lead with seven minutes still to play in the fourth quarter, and the Jazz rallied, right? Rudy Gobert got to the line, took the two-point lead late. Zion was watching from the bench as Brandon Ingram missed a possible game winner. Now let's look at the playoff picture because the most likely playing game scenario in the West is still Grizzlies Pelicans at 26%, but after this loss, the Pelicans' chance of, of playing or forcing a playing game is just 32%. Now, David Griffin was speaking to the media just a few minutes ago, and he doubled down on the organization's decision last night. He said any player missing 12 to 13 days would be going through the same thing as Zion was going through from a conditioning standpoint. So, Paul, this was a big <laughs> game. Will the Pelicans regret resting Zion in crunch time? Listen, they are going to regret giving this guy a minutes restriction because they're going to miss the playoffs. And, and the guy is only 20 year, years old. I, I don't get it. Just because he's missed so many games, he has them young legs, right? So he's hungry. Come on. The Pelicans will miss the playoffs due to the minutes restriction put on Zion Williams, not only yesterday, but throughout the season. And we saw this. The first mm -hmm. game Zion played when he came out with a monster game and he was put on a minutes restriction. This is going to cost the Pelicans the playoffs this year. Hopefully, next year he doesn't have the minutes restriction because the Pelicans are going to be a playoff team. Hey, listen. Let that bear out of the cage. That 20-year-old beast is ready to play. If I'm Coach Gentry, and then my, if I'm Coach Gentry and I'm coaching during the game, I'm constantly walking up to Zion doing timeouts or when I sub him out, asking him, hey, how are you feeling? And if he tell me he want to go, I'm putting them back out there on the court. The Pelicans are so much better with Zion on the court. I don't care about that he had a negative 16 last night. Listen, this is your franchise player. I know Brandon Ingram is good. Drew Holiday is good. But this is your centerpiece. This is your franchise. And if he want to play and he's healthy and ready, let him go. Let him lose. Well, I understand why Alvin Gentry didn't go against the medical staff and David Griffin, the executive vice president. He does have to do what the people above him tell him to do. I do wonder if they only knew he could play 15 minutes, why the minutes were managed the way they were. You guys can tell me, is there a reason you couldn't have backstacked those minutes more toward the end of the game so you had him in crunch time? Was there a scenario where if you only got him for 15 minutes, do you only play him in the second half? Is, is there a better way if you're a player in terms of rhythm from a game, if you're only going to get 15 minutes and you want that guy in crunch time? Paul, how would you want those minutes distributed if it were you? Man, all that matters is the end of the game for me. C come on, those last five minutes are crucial. You want your best players out there at the end of the game. And so this is my thing about medical staffs. Medical staffs cannot prevent injury. And this is an argument I've been having within my whole career. Listen, mm -hmm. you have to be lucky not to get injured. Just because you play 15 minutes, you could have got injured in those 15 minutes. So, you know, these medical staffs, they, they come up with their theories and stuff. Man, let the guy play. Come on, man. This is what we pay for. This is what we pop the popcorn for. And I sit on the couch because I want to see this guy in the game at the end of the game. Well, I, I'm with you. No, I'm with you. What, what do you think, Burke? No, I'm right there with P. I agree with him 100%. And that's why I said, let Zion determine how, if, if how many minutes or if he want to play or not. Don't, don't, don't let the Pelicans in the organization determine whether or not he's ready or he feels healthy. If Zion say he's ready to play, let him play. Well, look, I, I do get it, though, that, you know, hey, he's only 20 years old. He might not know what's best for his body. I do get it that Alvin's going to want to play him no matter what. So there might have to be checks and balances within the organization. But, Paul, you're so right about the fact that you cannot prevent injury. You can try everything you want to. There's definitely things that the medical staff can do to help you stay in condition, to have your body be flexible, to take pressure off joints that are having trouble. But in the end, things happen. And at some point, Zion Williamson is going to get injured again in his career because anyone with a long career in the NBA has multiple injuries over time. So I understand them trying Absolutely. to prevent anything that's preventable, mm. but there's a point where they just have to, like like with a parent, you got, you got to let go and just hope your kid is going to be okay. And if there is a minutes restriction, I am curious if the Pelicans are going to have a little team heads getting together and see if there's a way to distribute those minutes a little differently because I sure would like to see Zion Williamson play at the end of games.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.